motherfucker I am That dude with his head in the clouds I'm steady smoking that loud My flow is rocking the crowds To you, I'm a death dealer The lyrical blood spiller He tracks like Godzilla It's me and my wife, nigga The smoke out, dope out Musical vets from gamers I'll admit, I'm a bigot To all of the rap flamers A bartender, break dancing artist that's the flirt Love to see these bitches twerk And they slutty mini skirts To the hoes I put them work And he tracks these niggas murk I try to mix tech nine and twist The band and block and them on every verse I'm a nobody, just one of the random faces What's good, everyone? It's your boy, Token Drew. And we here with another edition of Pack and Unpack. Series where I pack a bowl. Yeah, I got a Thanos bowl. And unpack some cool shit. <laughs> you know what it is? Weekly disclaimer. Kids, going somewhere. This channel ain't safe for you, and you know why. It is... A Friday episode. Yeah, baby. I told you guys these shits was coming. And on this one, we are getting patriotic, baby. That is correct. July 4th is tomorrow. But I didn't want to make Saturday episodes. Plus, I plan on drinking. You're going to be drinking. Who the hell is going to be chilling watching me unbox some shit? Anyway, so I thought to myself, what could I get that is a patriotic figure? I had a plan. I had a dream. And this plan, this goal was to unbox only one kind of character on the 4th of July. Ish. Weekend. If you watched my last episode, you know who it is. But you know, I got the shirt on for a reason. I'm talking about our homie Steve Rogers. That's right, people. I'm talking about Captain America. Hopefully the glare wasn't too bad right there. I couldn't really see it. But this is the Marvel Gallery diorama, Captain America. Without further ado, let's get into it. I knew it. All right, everybody, we are back. And here he is. From the Marvel Gallery line, we have Captain America, the Avengers Endgame version. But before we get started, you know, a couple things. Um, I bought this from BigBadToyStore.com. He ran me about 44 bucks on a pre-order. I've seen him shooting up there on eBay, so, uh, you know, good luck with that. Sh Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. So, as always, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Them five categories. And we're going to be kicking it off with detail. So, for his detail, I mean, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it has all the wrinkles that you would expect and other, other shit, but there's a few disappointing things about it, you know, and I'm going to mention this a couple times. Mjolnir doesn't have any kind of scribbling on it. You know, they could have, I understand that it's, it's small, so you couldn't put the whole phrase, but I mean, even if you had, it, uh, you know, a circle where it should be and like, even the little scribble marks, you know what I'm saying? Just to show that you tried would have been great for me. And his face, you know, from far away, the face looks somewhat like um, Chris Evans. But when you get close to it, it just has a very dead blank expression. The clothing, you know, seems, I mean, it's just part of the figure, you know. And I, now that I've unboxed things like Hot Toys where, you know, and like Sideshow where the clothing is like a separate piece. I'm not just going to let let it slide where, you know, you just 
stuck hands onto the piece, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we're getting strict in here. So it's detail. For detail, we're gonna give them 11 points. Next up is bass. Man, I am so sick of these basses just being rocks. I would start giving it zero just right off bat for that, but I mean, I haven't given a bad bat. But I haven't given the all round basses pure zero, so you know, we're gonna score this accordingly. He is one with his bass. You know, he comes already attached to it. So, I mean, if you wanted anything extra to do with it, you really can't, you know? And of course, you know I mean? Yeah, it has detail on it, the chicka chicka marks all over the place, but it's damn rocks again, man. I'm so tired of rocks. What was it, fucking need for speed outside? Jesus Christ. So for his bass, we're only gonna give him eight points for bass. Next up. Pose. So for his pose, I'm not gonna lie. Nabbing at Captain America was never in the game plan. But, you know, with that dope ass scene from Avengers Endgame. I was like, if I'm gonna get Captain America, I'm gonna get one with Yona. So his pose is pretty cool, however, I was hoping that was gonna be a bit more dynamic, you know? They could have arched his back more. I feel like he seems a little bit stiff. And even though he is attached to his base, the base is confined to him. However, you also gotta take into a fact that he does have his arm outstretched, you know what I'm saying? So when you're looking at shelving where you're gonna put him, having something above him is not gonna be feasible, and that kinda of sucks. That being said, for his pose, we're gonna give him 12 points. Next up is paint. So his paint, his paint is a hard art. You know what I'm saying? Like it seems a bit dull, though I get that it is a bit character accurate for the movie, you know? The movie Steve Rogers wasn't that bright blue anymore. He was a bit darker and subdued, so. I get that. There are a couple imperfections though, you know. Um, his eyes, like I said previously, they look kind of dead, you know, just kind of flat, lifeless. There are a few marks like on his back, on the straps, some of the paint bled over, over on his boots. So, for his paint, I mean, it's not the worst paint in the world. Real talk, you know, it could be worse. So for his paint, we're gonna give him 14 points. So twist your brain, you look stupid. Y'all wonder how the fuck I do it. Sit, pull out, turn up and get loose. I'm packing. Finally, for character accuracy. My feelings, but I'm feeling you. I was a grunt, now I'm a boss. At the end of a level, finna piss you off. Hoes and beats, I fucking raw. You poked the fairy, you finna get mocked. Racist cops, get the fuck up my balls. If you voted Trump, you would nigga Ramus. More hated than Roman Reigns. So, for his character accuracy. His character accuracy isn't the worst in the world. It's pretty decent, honestly. You know, his size, his size is a good size. You know, he's going to scale well with a lot of the other figures. <laughs> Except for Thor. He's fairly source accurate, even though I wish he would have been battle damaged because that's how he looked when he wielded Mjolnir, you know. And I might buy the pens and add some battle damage myself, you know, because why not? I'm not a big fan of his expression. It looks kind of blank, you know. It looks kind of blank and dead to me. And finally, the sculpt. The overall sculpt is decent, but the face, I think it's the eyes or something because, you know, and I, I get it, that's just a under $50 fucking Marvel Gallery figure, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want something to be super accurate, then you're gonna wanna, wanna go for Hot Toys or something like that. So I get it, you get what you pay for, but it is what it is, you know? So for character accuracy, we're gonna give Steve Rogers 13 points. Now, for the bonus round. So my first impression of him, 
Yes. You know, I thought he was looking pretty good till I saw the face. And I, I, I was bracing myself for that. That's really why I don't go for movie accurate characters because then they have an actual likeness to try and look after him, you know. So, and I was, I was disappointed because I could have swore that he came with the shield as well. And Captain America without his shield is like getting a Wolverine without his claws or something, you know, so. That means I'm gonna have to buy another Captain America and I'm not excited about that at all, but he needs a shield. Or I can like buy a shield, I guess, and see if it'll fit him. I might do that, but either way, I gotta buy more shit. So I'm gonna give him a plus three. And overall, he's not bad for a movie version, you know? And for 40 something bucks, I mean, not bad, you know? Whether or not another Captain America will have to get in my collection is one thing. But at least I know for my MCU version, I'm satisfied. And this is a cool moment from the film. Really cool moment from the film. So we're going to go ahead and give him another plus three points for overall. Bringing his grand total up to 64 points. And that is a C. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Expect to see more scores around that range, honestly. I mean, let's save the A plus for the real shit. Like, you know, if I get another sideshow piece, hell yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to take some pictures and get up out of here. I mean, boy, token Drew. Stay safe, America. I do with sip full out, turn up and get loose. I'm packing, bro. You the one to move. Fuck sending texts, ho sending news. I ain't in my feelings, but I'm feeling you. I was a grunt, now I'm a boss. At the end of a level, finna piss you off. Hoes and beats, I fucking raw. You poke the bear, you finna get mauled. Racist cops, get the fuck up my balls. If you vote to Trump, you a nigga Ramus. More hated than Roman Reigns I'm dealing deck. You a fucking plane if I'm higher than Mount Everest. But through the stress, I'm woke up. I get soaked up and then spoke up. I want most luck to give no fucks, homies, no, I get no fucks. This nerd What's good, everybody? We are back. Here's where he ended up. So, I mean, not a terrible piece, but, you know, I kind of got spoiled with stuff like this. So, you know. And as you can see in his eyes, just look at them mugs. They just look... They look bad. You know how I hate bad looking eyes. But you know what? I mean, it's Captain America with Mjolnir. It was under 50 bucks, so, you know, it is what it is. Next time, unpack and unpack. We're going to be starting this series. But until then... I'm your boy, Token Drew. Live up. Smoke out. And game on. I'm out this bitch. Thanks for watching. Bruce. But I got street smarts, I've seen some things You ever seen a nigga get murdered? Have you ever seen a motherfucker hang? All these little niggas talking about gang bang But the times have changed, I know you know this Cops killing us, we gotta stay focused Government does what it wants, fuck the voters But that's the big picture Let's get down to street level Try to put a wall over everyone's eyes I be blind, still go daredevil All these niggas think they so special Everybody claim they a trap boss Every chick think they the baddest bitch Yes, my real last here to piss you off Everybody in the hood is slanging pounds Who the hell is